We may not realize, but every day about 50 people are turned away from the city's winter homeless shelter here downtown. And the latest numbers show that the homeless population is increasing in San Diego. A local photographer is trying to shine a spotlight on that problem, and Jeannie Rodden from our partner station, Channel 4 San Diego, is here to, to introduce us to him. That's right, that's right. His name is Ted Myers, and his photos are on exhibit at the Bonita Museum in the South Bay. How he came to capture the homeless on camera is a story that starts with his own personal tragedy and ends with the human side of being homeless. How you doing? Take a walk with Ted Myers on the streets of San Diego. Are you doing all right? And a couple of things will happen. He'll probably pull out a dollar bill or two. You're welcome. And he'll probably start snapping pictures. You want your picture taken? There you go. Remember, I always give you a dollar. Ted's been doing this for more than a year now. You got a story you want to tell me? Part of his motivation was plain old curiosity. I wanted to know how they kept staying out there, you know, and how they did it. And part of it was his own personal journey. Wow. Truly doing this project helped save me, really did. But before we get into Ted's personal story, there are many other stories to tell because every homeless person has a story. He basically told me that he, he lost his wife and he was so lonely um, being in a house by himself, in a big house by himself, that he just left and went to the streets. This one right here, I love this picture. Um, he's a fisherman. He told me a bunch of Vietnam stories. It was raining one time and I passed out a bunch of plastic to the homeless so they could cover their stuff and he was one of the guys I passed out plastic to. People say there's a calmness in his eyes. This is my favorite homeless guy. This is him um, in the wintertime, and this is him in the, in the uh, summertime. I helped him out one time from getting beat up from some um, young kids, and he has no problem admitting that his drinking is what caused all of his problems. Ted's taken more than 100 photos of the homeless, just a smattering on display here at the Bonita Museum. I did a two shot here and um, this is him before he was actually homeless. So this is what he looks like seven months later. The interesting thing about this one is um, obviously when people look at it, it looks like Jesus. And um, I took this picture the day after Easter. I noticed that he had blood. You can see it in the picture, he has blood dripping down from the top of his head. Many of the homeless are dually diagnosed, meaning they have drug and alcohol addictions along with being mentally ill. It's what drew Ted Myers to the streets in the first place. After my wife died, I, uh, I was kind of lost. My wife had died from a mental illness and, and drug addiction. Sometimes I was afraid that she would become homeless. You know, because she, she would be out there and it was hard to, you know, have her stay in the house. I mean, I still had kids to raise, um, three children. When Ted hit the streets in search of answers, that's when he discovered he had a connection. I had sympathy for the homeless because they suffered from the same things that my wife suffered from. And if I couldn't help my wife, I wanted to help them. Still... Kind of tears you up inside. Absolutely. Because I know how hard it was for her. So um, I know how hard it is for them. So even though Ted knows that... There are, are definitely some that um, don't tell, you know, truthful stories. And there are some that um, could actually go out and get a real job. He also believes that he's making a difference. I think that what I'm doing helps people. Ted Meyer's exhibit at the Bonita Museum runs until the end of February, and he is looking for another exhibit space to show his photos to more people. If you'd like to contact him, you can email him at tedmyers5 at cox.net. Talented man. Yes, very, very talented. talented. Is he yeah. planning on taking more pictures? He says probably, yes, he gets a kind of adrenaline rush when he gets out there and, and sees the homeless, so he says he's probably not done yet taking the photos. What so. an amazing way for him to turn his loss into something that is really telling other people's stories and it's hopefully in a way helping them. Right, yeah. yeah, it really did help him a lot to make that connection. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Thanks, Jane. Great sure. story.